At the beginning of the day, ideally before we leave the parking lot, we wanna do a beacon check. We're gonna do a three part check. So we're gonna check the battery in the display. We're gonna check the beacon in searching mode. And then we're also gonna check it in sending mode. So go ahead and let's turn our beacons on. You guys check your battery. Go ahead and say what it is and make sure your LCD screen is all copacetic. 100%. 100%. 85. Everybody's screen check workout. Yep. Yep. All right. So if you guys want to go into search mode, go ahead and take a step away from each other. So you can read to me what you see on your screen as I come in. Point four, point three, point two. Cool. Jeff, point same, eight, go ahead and read. Seven, point four, point three. In both cases, as I'm bringing my beacon in, uh, to make sure that the signal is getting smaller, so the number as I'm getting closer is getting smaller as I come closer to the beacon, bigger as I get far away. The reason I'm doing that is to make sure that his beacon is picking up my beacon, not somebody else that's in the area. All right, go ahead and switch into send. There's a handy mnemonic, end in send. That way these guys have put their beacon away for the day. I'm gonna go into search. And then the same thing, I'm gonna make sure that my numbers are getting smaller as I go in. 0 0.7, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.3. Okay, Jeff, I got you. And then, coming in again. It's telling me pause. 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2. All right, I am turning back into sin and stowing my beacon for the day. So it's good for the person who's running the beacon check to verbalize that they're switching back into send and stashing their beacon. That way we all know that everybody's got their beacon in the right mode and in the right place before we head into the backcountry. Cool. So you can wear your beacon in the harness that it comes with. The idea there is that it is under layers. So you don't wanna have it on the outside of your body. Even if you're shedding layers, then you need to have the beacon under a layer so it stays with you. It's also acceptable to have the beacon in a pocket. A lot of pants these days, you can have a specific beacon pocket. It needs to be behind a zipper. It needs to be a designated pocket. So I'm not opening and closing this pocket for any reason other than my beacon check. I'm not storing chapstick in there or sunscreen or anything. So a lot of electronic devices uh, have been found to interfere with beacons in search and in send mode. In general, you're gonna follow the beacon's manufacturer about the minimum distance of any device that sends and receives a signal and your avalanche beacon. So for example, I have a cell phone in this pocket and I have a beacon in this pocket. So I've separated it by about 40 centimeters. You can also have the cell phone in your pack, and that's even better. That way my body is between where my beacon is and my phone is. There's a lot of variation and options, but your beacon is gonna come with recommendations about where to store it relative to those devices. Keep in mind, it's anything that sends or receives a signal. Cell phones are the worst offenders, but also radios, GoPros, anything with Bluetooth, um, GPS can also interfere with how your beacon functions.